You know what? No, I'm going to go no now. Aaron Judge is not a Hall of Famer. While we're speaking extensions, I did wish to get your thoughts on this. Uh, we've been talking this catching situation with the Jays all season long. It's been one of the big speculative points, right? But Danny Jansen has had himself a breakout season, despite missing major chunks due to injury. Like, if you just look at his numbers while he's been on the field, he has been a top 10 catcher in baseball. Obviously, decisions concerning this position is going to be made in the offseason, but I'm wondering if this front office does decide Danny Jansen is the guy or one of the guys that they are going to move forward with. Can you see this season being a good one to approach Danny about maybe locking in a little bit more long-term as a 27-year-old who is really kind of showing he's got the stuff needed? He's been great. He's really been great. I think, you know, we all know about the defense, um, but then you look at the pull power that he's tapped into in the 15 home, I don't have it in front of me, 15 home runs, something. He's on 35 home run pace if he played a full 162. Wow. Yeah. I mean, this year. (laughs) Yeah. It's pretty telling, right? Yeah. So he's having himself just a great year. Um, and so I think uh, at that point, again, it's confidence level in Danny Jansen being a major league player, um, major league catcher that you want on your team for many years going forward. Now I think that confidence level is high enough that you're like, yeah, he's going to be good in 23, 24, 25. You know, he has a skill set that's unique. He can tap into that power and provide you defensive value. So I think you want him. I, I think an extension, I, I don't think you need to go too wild because you have Kirk, because you have Moreno. So I don't think you need to go too far out of your way. And I think for Jansen too, this is the other side of it. He's now in a position where he's two years away from free agency. So mm-hmm. if Jansen decides, you know what, I'm making good money now in arbitration. I actually have you know a certain amount of security because of that. And free agency... In a couple of years' time, after he's a primary catcher on a winning team, that could be pretty lucrative for him. You know, he might be someone who's commanding multi-year deals. So to me, this doesn't scream extension when you look at both sides involved, um, when you look at Jansen where he's at, when you look at the Jays and where they're at. But that doesn't mean it isn't a really good work relationship right now. That's a great point. Obviously, the player needs to be on board with an extension, too, before talks even get anywhere. So... We really appreciate all of you within the walk-off community. This thing continues to grow and become an animal of its own. It's a little bit overwhelming, but honestly, we love talking Blue Jays baseball and all the interaction that you folks are involved with us. Thank you so much. Discord, feel free to join it. That is always free. The show, or, uh, the link is in the show notes. You can follow us on Twitter at Walk Off Podcast, on Instagram, the Walk Off Podcast. And if you are watching on YouTube currently and you're not subscribed, We'd really appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button. All the best, everybody. Cheers.